This story was sent to me by Caressa McKnight. And, you know, it's sometimes when I do so many stories, especially if it's a celebrity, it's some people that you don't expect to want to do a story on. And then they do something and it's like, damn it, hate it had to be you. This falls into the category of Scarlett Johansson. Now, this is Scarlett Johansson. And in the picture next to her is Woody Allen. Now, I don't know if they are at is, if this uh, picture is like doctored to put them together or if they're at the same event. But that's neither here nor there. So apparently well you already know that there was always these stories swirling around with woody allen having sexual relations with his adopted daughter stepdaughter whoever she is for years and they actually didn't have a relationship well scarlett johansson has come out and has defended him against those sexual abuse allegations that literally has played woody allen for years and when she did that i said uh scarlett johansson you may want to tread extremely lightly because don't you have a very big film coming out next year? I think it's called uh, Black Widow, you know, based off of your Marvel character. And because it's a female led superhero film. She may want to uh, uh, scale it back for this. I'm like this. If she was smart. She would have waited until after the movie came out to do this, like way after the movie came out to do this, not months before it did, because you know them Femma nuts, as much as I hate them, are going to come after her like bees to honey. Like, they're going to come down on her hard. It really. I can hear I can hear it now. But y'all, I'm going to go ahead and uh, read this article coming from Decider.com. It says Hollywood stars may be distancing themselves from Woody Allen amid allegations of sexual abuse, but Scarlett Johansson is not among them. In a new interview with The Hollywood Reporter, the actress who has worked with Allen on three films, which is probably why she's defending him, addressed the controversy head on saying, I believe him. Johansson went on to say that Allen maintains his innocence and despite the abuse claims made by his adopted daughter, Dylan Farrell, she would work with him anytime. Well, I would like to ask Scarlett Johansson this. If I was interviewing her, you know, she, you know, just happened to come up. I would like to know what is your take on Bill Cosby? I don't know if she's had any words about the Bill Cosby situation because I'm I'm like this. If any woman is willing to defend the likes of a Woody Allen or Brian Singer or Stephen Collins or, um, Anyone, anyone who's like that, who's been accused of being a pedophile or Harvey Weinstein, you just got to ask them, what's your feelings on Bill Cosby? Because, you know, Bill Cosby caught the brunt force of it all just to see if they're going to feel the same way about them. And then you'll just go from there. When asked about how she feels about Alan, her director for Match Point Scoop and Vicky Christina Barcelona, Johansson insisted that she disagrees with the Hollywood heavyweights who have denounced him. I love Woody. She told Uh, the Hollywood reporters Rebecca Keegan I believe him and I will work with him anytime honestly I think Scarlett Johansson is only doing this because she's worked with Woody Allen I have a feeling that if she's never worked with him her tone might be different but then again I can't really say that because it's probably other women who have worked with him as well who feel the complete opposite of what Scarlett feels like she says, I see Woody whenever I can and have had a lot of conversations with him about it, continued the star. I have been very direct with him and he's very direct with me. He maintains his innocence and I believe him. Johansson went on to acknowledge, acknowledge that her support of Allen may be at odds with the Me Too movement. It's hard because it's a time where people are very fired up and understandably. Things needed to be stirred up and so people have a lot of passion and a lot of strong feelings and are angry and rightfully so and it's, and it's an intense time. Johansson is largely alone in support of Allen. Since Farrell's allegations resurfaced in early 2018, she initially came forward with those claims shortly after the alleged 1992 incident and again in 2014. Stars like Timothy Chalamet, uh, Rachel Brosnahan, Colin Firth, and more have been expressed regret about working with the director. In August 2018, Amazon Prime Video shelved his upcoming film, A Rainy Day in New York, originally part of Allen's full picture deal with the streamer. Amazon later backed out of the deal due to the sexual abuse allegations. As a result, currently, Allen is suing the company for $68 million for breach of contract. Listen, all I'm going to say is this. 
she better think of her movie coming out next year because I'm telling you, when that when the press for Black Widow starts to swirl around, and which will probably be around April because the movie comes out in May, they are going to bring this back up. They are going to bring it up. I will be pleasantly surprised if they don't. And you gotta think she's going against those. She's going against other white women, and you know they run. They they have a hive mindset. They run like packs of wolves, and they will devour anyone that goes against the hive. And she's right now going against the hive, so they about to sting her ass. I I I see it for what it is. But I'm telling you, I think she's only saying that because she had a good working relationship with him. But then again, this is Hollywood, so it makes you wonder: was this relationship a little bit more, more, little bit more deeper than just a professional one? You never know. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next one.